I'm Colleen. I work for Mischler's Florist and Greenhouses. I'm the herb manager and container designer. Today we're going to show you how to plant up a vertical garden. If you would like to try a new style of gardening, vertical gardening, simple, easy to put together, easy to assemble and mount on whatever surface you're looking for and the deer can't get to it so that's always helpful. If you have just a small space to garden this is good because you can tack it up just about anywhere. This is a 10 cell unit and as you can see they're on an angle. So I've selected 10 plants that will work well together. These are all frost tolerant annuals. You can use anything. I've selected phlox, annual phlox, another pink lady phlox, diasha, namesia, osteospermum daisies, and some pansies. The first thing you'd want to do is wet up your soil a little bit so you don't have dust flying everywhere. It just makes it a little easier to work with. Give your plants a little shot of water. You don't need much soil to get started, just a little bit in the bottom of each cell so that the roots have something to grab onto. A little bit of a slow release fertilizer if you desire. And then we can start planting. You set aside the tags and hold on to those so you know what you what you planted. You can knock off any extra soil that's on there. Just try not to disturb the roots. And since they're wet, they squish easily. You don't want to compact the soil while you're planting it, but you have to get it in there firmly. Plant it out, or you can be spontaneous with it. These have a decent amount of root structure. They're ready to be planted out. That's perfect. You can gently squeeze the root ball without damaging the roots, and then it'll slide into there a little more easily. Now before we continue planting, I'm going to show you the watering system, which is from above. You just feed water right through there and then it trickles down through the root zone and absorbs as needed. We also have a reservoir that you can set on top. You fill that and then it drips down through there. This is another variety of flax, which is a nice cold tolerant and drought resistant plant, which is unusual to find both of those qualities in a plant. It's a little tight squeeze when you're using the four inch plants. You can go smaller. All of these are plug size plants. This is another Osteospermum daisy, which is um, a compact variety, so it doesn't get huge and leggy. It stays small and branchy, which is perfect for these. These long branchy ones are good because you can train them through and fill in with the soil and you just top it off, press it down lightly, no need to cram it in there. And just go down the line to each cell, separate the plants. You can see the one, two, three, four. I'm gonna just top those off. When you're first planting them, you want to water them in on the surface. I would go in and trim off anything that's hanging out. You can see with the flocks you could just tuck it in to keep it where you want it. And leave it in and out of the other plants. And pretty much that's it. And then you're ready to install it. So here we have a finished unit. And this is stacked double high. And you can see how simple this is to assemble, to install. It has a bracket that mounts to a fence or a wall, anywhere you're wanting to put it. The unit slides on and off. And the planted unit will weigh approximately 15 pounds. This is when you would drop your reservoir in, and it sits right up there. You want to have your plants eventually growing up so you don't have to look at the reservoir. And this is the bracket that you use just need to get the proper hardware for whatever material you're you're mounting to. So if it's concrete you want to use masonry screws, if it's wood you want to use wood screws. 
on this wall, we have a 45 cell unit, which mounts the same way. The cells are a little bit smaller. You can see we planted with our sale perennials, handy packs, and plugs of begonias. So you can install this unit with a frame. As you can see, there is a wooden frame accessory that goes along with the 10 cell unit. If you need any help getting started, the garden shop workers are here to walk you through it and help you select plants and anything else you might need.